They tell me something about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa about the akhlaq, the character of Rasulullah sallallahu about the rank of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi So Ummul Mu'mineen, Hadrat Aisha Siddiqa sallallahu alayhi replied that go read Quran. All of the Quran tells about the rank of Rasulullah That's why Imam Ahl Sunnah, Hadrat Imam Ahmad Raza Khan Barir bi Rahmatullah alayhi said that they raza khud sahibi Quran hai madda e huzur tujh se kab mumkin hai phir mithat rasulullah ki Allah akbar so in Quran Allah taala says fala wa rabbika la yu'minuna hatta yuhaqqimu ka fi ma shajara bainahum when we talk about iman if someone asks you that what is iman what will you reply if someone says you that tell me the definition of iman in one sentence or in one line on one word or one word which can be definition of iman so what will you say if you reply salah so no doubt salah is the very important part of islam and it's very important for a, a moment for someone to be who wants to be a strong believer for to be if he wants to be a moment so it's necessary for him to be uh, to read salah but only salah will not be the complete definition of islam because islam has many things else also if someone asks you to tell me a fun line on one word definition of islam if you will say the fasting, so it's no, there's no doubt that pillar of Islam for Sahib Iman, for the person who is a strong believer. If, but it cannot be a full definition of Iman, the one sentence. If you will say giving zakat or doing hajj, that is very important part of Iman. But that cannot be a one sentence or one line definition of Islam. But if you want to know what is Iman, what is the thing which will not be there so your salah will be not be accepted in the court of Allah, there is one thing, if that will not be there, so your fast will not be accepted in the court of Allah. If you want to know this, what's the important of Rasul, importance of Rasulullah no doubt message is very important. But you can't say that message is important and messenger is not important. Or remembering messenger is not important. The remembering messenger and love of messenger how important is it if you pay attention on this thing. There is one thing. If they will not be there, so your salah will not be accepted. Your fast will not be accepted. Your hajj will not be accepted. Anything will not be accepted if one thing will not be there. And that thing is the one line definition of Islam. Which Allah, uh, one line definition of Iman. Which Allah mentioned in Quran. Fala wa rabbika. Uh, uh, oh Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I swear upon the fact that I am your uh, Lord. 
the sign if you follow, love rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the celebrating milad reciting na this all will be secondary the first necessary thing if you love rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is that you follow that what rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is sleeping and his head is in the lap of hazrat ali radhiyallahu anhu now hazrat ali have not read salah not read asr it the time of sunset is near there was a time that sun set sun disappeared rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam opened their eyes and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that ali what happened about salatul asr listen what's important of love of how important the love of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that ali what about asr hazrat ali replied that ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that sun disappeared sun set i missed my asr allahu akbar rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam got up and hazrat jabir said amar ash-shams rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ordered they are also in other ayat the words of dua but hazrat jabir said it it uh, there in tabrani amar ash-shams rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam got up and ordered himself to the sun that come back sun returned from the asr of maula ali radhiyallahu anhu surah jhulte पांव पलटे चांद इशारे से हो चार उनकी मर्जी पा गया सूरज फिरा उल्टे कदम उनकी उंगली उठ गई महका कलेजा चिर गया So it's the masala of the Sharia that whenever the wajib and farz will have clash, so you will leave the wajib and you will read your farz. You will do your farz like it's uh, fajr time and the few minutes left. You woke up late and the only time to recite uh, to pray two rakat. What will you do? You will read sunnah and say farz afterwards? No, because whenever the farz and wajib will have a clash. you will leave the wajib and you will go for farz now if only you have time for two rakat you will leave that time you will not do sunnah that, that time you will read your farz so whenever the farz and wajib will have a clash you will leave the wajib and you will go for farz now if loving rasulullah is only wajib so see at this hadith namaz is farz na salah is farz so hazrat ali was not waking up rasulullah sir not waking rasulullah sir sir and salah time when sunset sun disappeared if it, loving rasulullah was only wajib so hazrat ali should respectfully would have said that ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam please get up i have to read my salah because loving you is only wajib and salah is farz hazrat ali didn't do that they said oh son go disappear thousand time even today i will not wake rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Rasulullah's face is in my lap, and I am seeing Rasulullah bedam namaz ish. Yehi hai Khuda gawa har wat tasubure ruke jana na chaat. I am seeing Rasulullah sir. So at this time, Rasulullah the Salat wa Salam is in my lap. I will not wake him up. If Salat wants to disappear, it should disappear. Allah wa Akbar. Now the action of Azrat Ali that Allah Taala have proved that namaz is farz. But loving Rasulullah is the first and most compulsory part for Salih. Same thing. As Yaz Malik Rahmatullah, Rahmatullah, write this in Shifa Sharif. Very uh, strong book of uh, Hadith. Allahu Akbar. He said that when Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was in Hudaybiyah, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sent Hazrat Sayyidina Usman Ibn Ali Radhi Allahu Taala Anhu for dialogue to Makkah. Listen. How important is to love Rasulullah? And how Sahaba used to love Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Hazrat Sayyidina Usman ibn Ali Allah Taala who went there and had a dialogue. They said that no, this time group is not allowed. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the group of Sahaba companions they are not allowed to come in Makkah next year. We will allow them. They come, they do their hajj, do, do their thing, and they can go. Allah Akbar. Hazrat Sayyidina Usman was there. Hazrat Sayyidina Usman ibn Ali radhiyallahu anhu said okay he took the message and was about to come back they stopped they said Usman we will not allow Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to come in Makkah this time but you are in Makkah na you are wearing your ihram you can do tawaf if you want to go there is tawaf if you want to do tawaf so go do it Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't stop Hazrat Usman ibn Ali that if they allow you so don't do tawaf Allahu akbar now you tell 
If you are a Muslim and you are wearing a haram and you are in Makkah and Kaaba is front of you, so how much you will love to do tawaf and how much you will love to go kiss Adra Aswad and do ibadat over there, read your salah over there and do tawaf and do the dua from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this was Sahabi Hazrat Sayyidina Usman. Ghani radiallahu ta'ala. They replied that you are saying that you don't let, you are not letting Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam come in Makkah and allowing me to do tawaf. Listen, if Rasulullah will not do tawaf, so Usman will also not do tawaf. They are in Rawaya that Hazrat Usman Ghani had his shawl like this and he was covering in face and walking like this in the street of Makkah. Someone asked that Usman, everything is clear. There is no uh, sun uh, or there. There is no, nothing that, no reason that you cover your face. Why are you walking like this in the street of Makkah? Hazrat Usman Ghani replied that Rasulullah didn't saw the Kaaba until Rasulullah did not see the Kaaba. I don't want to see the Kaaba. Usman will not see the Kaaba. This also was it is Shifa Shari. Shifa Shari, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. He said that Sayyidina Umar Umar bin Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. You said that how important it is to love Rasulullah for the Sahaba, the final authority and the most important thing was the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. Hazrat Sayyidina Umar bin Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He is going to kiss Hajra Aswad and he stopped. And he said, Oh Hajra Aswad, listen, I know that you came from Jannah. I know that every before also kissed you. I know that you will do Shabbat of the person who will kiss you. I know when someone kisses you, so his sins are gone. But I am not kissing you because you are from Jannah. I am not kissing you because you will do Shabbat. I am not kissing you because you are in the wall of Kaaba. I am not kissing you, Qadi Ayaz Maliki writes this hadith. I, uh, this uh, action of Sayyidina Umar bin Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. I am not kissing you because you came from Jannah. I am only kissing you because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everything for Sahaba was the personality of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then when you are loving Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so there are some compulsory things. And there are some uh, things which you have to follow. There are some rules for everything, for every love, for, and for everything you do. So for the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the most compulsory thing is to follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Like I said, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said that cool, uh, the salah is the cool, coolness of my eyes. So the, Rasulullah, the servant of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam should always be salah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that don't do bite, backbiting of any person. You should not do that. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that a liar cannot be a mommy. You should not lie. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that be good with every human being. Someone asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam how can I be a good human being? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied that when your neighbor will say that you are a good human being. Now your neighbor will not only say you good human being because of your salah, because of your fasting, because of you going to hajj, because of your zakat. Your neighbor will say you good human being when you will greet him with a smile. Your neighbor will say you good human being when your character will be good. Your neighbor will say you good human being whether he is a Muslim or whether he is a non-Muslim, whether he is from any religion. You should be good with your neighbor because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that you will be a good human being when your neighbor will say that you are a good human being. Some people ask that we have to keep a good gesture, we have to be, uh, keep a good character only with Muslims or with non-Muslims also. It's more necessary that you should keep a good gesture with non-Muslims. You should show a good gesture with a non-Muslim. It's more necessary that you should be a good character. You should show the good character with non-Muslim. Because that time when you are with non-Muslim, you are presenting Islam. You are showing that what have Islam taught you and what have you learned from the teachings of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If you are with a non-Muslim, you should be more, you should show the more good gesture and good character and be useful for him because he sees in your life that what moral values have Islam teached you and what 
gesture and what good character Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has teached you. When the people should see the lives of Sahaba, that whenever someone abuse him, they do dua for him. Someone is doing bad from them, they are in return they are doing good. Someone is saying them bad and in return they are showing good gesture. They are not harming anyone. They are being useful for everyone and they are peaceful citizen. The people should see would see the life of Sahaba and then you used, they used to come to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You should keep your character good. You should keep your gesture good. You should be a peaceful civic citizen and useful for every person whether he is Muslim or whether he is not a Muslim. By this people will ask you that from where did you get this character? From where did you get this lesson of the moral value? Then you tell about tell them about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and like this they will come to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam other dhara guftugu ko barati hui to sit ke dil se Allah ki bargah mein tawba karta hu